Welcome everyone, we got another round four matchup for you. This one should be a fun one. It's going to be Kanye and Invoker taking on Ska Boss and War Machine. And we'll be watching from the viewpoint of Ska Boss. Looks like we're starting here on lane. I'm going to turn up our volume a bit here. Three meditation start for Ska Boss is going to be pretty crazy if there's not an arm rose to fix it. Uh, Kanye and Invoker up to plus two acquisition. Probably not going to be looking to arm roast yet. Uh, that plus six meditation, though, it's worth pointing out he's also got three schools, it's looking like. Yep, with the stimulate, that is confirmed. Also, the regenerate. So, not too crazy as it could be. Uh, looking to offset his stimulate here, though. That negative regen that he's going to get from that. Both of them buffing up pretty hard. Kanye's up to plus four, but that's already a negative two, negative three for Skavos. That's horrible. Uh, Armoros Watch could still connect on a war machine, and he's catching some rock shots as it is. Uh, and vulnerability now on a war machine. Uh, doesn't mean he can't get hit by that arm rose watch though. Connie is looking to get the right angle. Skyboss takes his own rock shot to the face there. Invoker dealing quite a bit of damage so far. And War Machine's also been hit now out in the open with that negative two as well. He's got environmental he's looking to lay down. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like he might be using the Levitate to get up in that corner there. Memory Lapse is actually the go-to. Rock Shot's going to be lost. Looks like they did get the Memory Lapse down, but they have taken so much damage getting there. We'll have to see if Kanye and Invoker have an answer to this. Regenerate, getting back some health for Ska Boss. War Machine... Also pretty low. If they have an arm roast, they're not in too bad of a spot. If they can just arm roast themselves and then negatively arm roast Kanye and Invoker, that would actually be pretty huge. You want to just kill you and bring you back? Or? So I think they're going to have to... Uh, it's going to take him two hits to kill his partner. But they're going to have to dig and try and find themselves an arm roast. Kanye's got himself a reincarnation now. Which is going to prevent that pickup being done easily. Some very low damage reincarnations being traded back and forth in here. I think at this point, probably best to just, one, block that reincarnation. Uh, but to get out of here and stop eating these higher damage reincarnations from Kanye, uh, Kanye is basically playing these guys 2v1 at this point, having arm roast them both and just hitting up. There we go. That'll be good. Uh, you might die, though. They're down to 2 and 1. Kanye's reincarnation is going to be laughably jumpable now. Look at that. It's not even tracking. Can't afford to trade, though. That was a good use of the shield there to not get Armoros watched back. Oh, he's going to go down to it. War Machine makes the pickup, though. It's close. Needs to burn through some of these capsules, find some other skills, other things that he's going to try and do here. That five damage reincarnation is going to be painful onto Invoker. Caught out in the open. Arm roast again. War Machine goes down. I think War Machine may have actually fallen to his death from the arm roast there. So at negative two, negative three once again. And that plus six acquisition is going to be hitting so hard. Kanye can basically just free fire onto this poor guy's base. Yeah. 
don't think he has optic in this arsenal, so I don't think we're going to get to see a photon barrier. Another Armoros. This is the third one. Everybody dance. Since everybody's got some stats. And that puts Skyboss and War Machine in a really good spot to close this out. Kanye's reincarnation now practically walkable. And both Skyboss and War Machine at this point have a 5 damage reincarnation with the memory lapse down. Gotta catch that cartwheeler though. And Kanye's doing a good job so far at dodging them. Invoker trying to maintain his shields a little longer, stretch those out. Sign of Saints actually picked up. Along with an iron skin. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty effective strategy from Skyboss and War Machine. Things looked bleak. They were not going well. And uh, they managed to just barely get that memory lapse down. And then scrape their way by to survive long enough to take advantage of it. And right now it seems like Kanye has just accepted that there's nothing he can do with that negative six reincarnation. It's almost impossible to hit anything with it. Invoker is going to use a shield and get the freeze down. He'll make the pickup onto Kanye. If he can get in there. He's going to eat that Rian though. Kanye is going to hit, get hit in the lift. Invoker running back to his own base. At this point it's just a duck hunt. Kanye going down once again. Unable to keep up with all the reincarnations. Oh goodness, that is one set of interesting lag for the stream. Uh, it's worth noting this isn't a live stream, this is off of the recording. Uh, the stream's recording. They didn't record it normally, this is a, a mixer auto recording off of the mixer stream. I'm going off of here. Invoker looks like he's gonna make the pickup again gets all the way around uh, Violent change at a war machine Like it's not bad to have it in there, but they've burned through their own arsenals pretty deep as well And it didn't actually finish off invoker or Kanye Invoker basically just giving it everything he's got there at the end to see if he can get any damage down It is now up to the negative six reincarnation of Kanye And there goes another reincarnation. Invoker's likely going to die. There it goes. And that is going to be a very long and drawn out, but well done game one win for Ska Boss and War Machine. I know a lot of people predicted in the group draw for this round that uh, Kanye and Invoker would take this series pretty cleanly, but that's an impressive start for Ska Boss and War Machine, who. It's worth noting, this team didn't seek each other out. They were actually kind of placed together uh, from two players that were both looking for partners and they didn't have one and we just recommended them play together since neither one really knew anybody else they could partner with. So these, these guys didn't come in with any existing synergy and they've already made it into round four, picked up a win here and there, and uh, like they're taking wins off of Kanye and Invoker who right now are undefeated. Uh, this is a team that has been continuing to impress as they go throughout the tournament and showing good synergy and taking advantage of the areas accessible on lane with Levitate to lay down that memory lapse was super effective. Able to pick up the win there. And so we see a Psycho Nature Faith now for Ska Boss. He's getting closer. I've also noticed Scott Boss runs these really heavy skill arsenals. He's getting closer to the R account he should have. 17 is getting there. It's not quite, but he's getting there. It's not 19, though. It's not 19 skills. And so we're going to see uh, what kind of start they've got here. He's got a healthy aura start with the 4 aura. Rock shot, flash hole, gets a little bit more aura, especially from this boost mine. He's going to be set to go with that Psycho Blade. It's a pretty good hand. To get moving, uh, able to fight at most ranges. 
against that gun on the amulet. So yeah, I see that purple that. in the hand. I agree with picking up the amulet just to be safe for a minute because we don't know what Kanye's planning over there. Uh, looks like they used their own boost mine, though, to get themselves moving a little faster. I think Kanye was stuck at 2 Aura there for quite a bit. Starting to recover a little bit here. Looks like they're going to double up and try and put some pressure onto Kanye. Ooh, an exhaust came out, and that would have been dirty in there. That was the right call, just like I said it would be, to pick up that amulet. Neutralization is going to get rid of it, though. If he goes up in the air again, that neutralization will knock him out of the air. Oh, just... That was really smart right there. He used the tower to block the angle Invoker has with the neutralization. As they continue to put some pressure onto Kanye, who's dealing pretty well with it. So far, he's only gotten hit by the one rock shot. But he is going to eat that Psycho Blade. That was a good, good combo right there. Force him to cartwheel. And then following up with a melee... War Machine is keeping himself mostly safe from the lasers, and then Invoker's able to land two shots onto Ska Boss as well. Starting to get some of that damage differential back. War Machine comboing nicely with the Vibration Blaster. Kanye trying to use his own Vibration Blaster is going to lose it. That boost mine got him comboed on. And he eats another War Machine with the Tiger Strength Vibration Blaster doing some work over there. And Kanye is already down. Invoker trying to make the pickup. He is going to lose the Iron Skin. There goes a Psycho Blade. They got to be careful. Kanye's back up. We don't know what he has. He's got two new attacks that I don't believe we've seen yet. Invoker's going to just straight up jump off the map to get back faster. And they're on the chase with Kanye. Kanye is running for his life. Triple lasers is not going to be in range. That one does hit, though. War Machine gets tagged for six. A big hit. Kanye trying to get further and further away. He actually jumps off, though, and he's going to head back to his base. But they are pinched in between them now. Kanye and Invoker with good angles. Oh, that eight damage vibration blaster connecting onto Invoker is massive. And the charged particle trades back from Kanye from behind. These teams are just slugging it out. Big damage back and forth. Trying to get some distance between him and Invoker. There goes double hits. Invoker is going to take out War Machine, and the charged particle from Kanye takes out Skaba simultaneously for the game to win. Much better pressure that round, the kind of pressure you would expect to see from that team. Although, <laughs> admittedly, last game there was the uh, memory lapse that took a lot of wind out of those sails. And so we're going to head into game three. Let's see if we can skip ahead a little bit. All right, here we are. Game three on Palace. We've gone lane sign Palace. Pretty rough start on Aura for Invoker. Scott Boss playing around with the boxes here in the corner. Already has that orb in hand ready for anything that might come at him. He's also... So is this a... I think he was hovering a crystallization deck with orb I'm not sure I like that personally uh, crystallization is already a pretty clunky hand to try and make work and if you throw an orb in there uh, very difficult piece of fire comboed with the bloody ritual invoker loses more aura so a rough start made rougher maybe this is a memory of battle because that's two thunderstorms Oh, Connie's going to lose both shields. Caught with his pants down when it came to that one. Oh, and he catches him with the Bloody Ritual. War Machine takes a lot of damage using two Bloody Rituals. Uh, but Kanye's not much healthier by the end of it, honestly, using a Fire Gehenna. War Machine's going to go down to a Fire Gehenna. All right, Fire Gehenna out of both Invoker and Kanye. Oh, he accidentally overwrote the vacuum wall. I think he wanted to block yeah, one yeah. of them. Oh. Kanye might also have an orb now. 
Another 8 damage. Invoker's down to 11. We'll have to see if they can make this defense. If they land another Bloody Ritual, that could be devastating on its own. That's a reincarnation, so that's that's a start. Healing Water. Looks like they're just going to give him the pick. Oh my goodness, a Spore Schism out of War Machine. I didn't even see him fire it until the explosion there at the tables. And there's nothing Invoker can do as it explodes literally under his feet by hitting a table. And that's going to be a Game 3 win in a bit of an unorthodox fashion with a lot of big one-time use abilities. Not to mention the Bloody Ritual did work there. Uh, for Skaboss and War Machine, taking a 2-1 lead in this series as we go into Game 4. Which is started here on Highway. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. Getting a little bit of damage with the lasers. This is Invoker's territory, though. He's got himself a slide laser and a tiger strength. And that is his comfort zone, exactly. I'm worried that he's not going to be able to keep that turbulence. Uh, already overriding the vacuum wall. I think he's already he's gonna have to override the turbulence too. It's getting a rough aura start here. <laughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Get a little bit of damage back onto Invoker. Uh, so far, War Machine and Ska Boss have yet to really take any meaningful damage. Staying away from the vibration blaster. What a quick setup out of Kanye, by the way. Having that vibration blaster. Uh, gonna try and get those heats on without getting pegged in the face by that. Kanye gives up the pressure for a moment. He's able to use one of them. Looks like another three school for Ska Boss too. Twist laser gonna land eight damage for Invoker. A very dirty little angle there. Kanye is gonna eat his own five damage of Tiger Strength Vibration laser. Looks like the Eraser was able to catch that Vibration Laser. Holding on to that Eraser. Going to want to use that Heat here in a minute when he gets a chance. Kanye's taking a little bit more damage from War Machine. And he's getting that angle with that Slide Laser now. Doing a good job of not getting hit by that Vibration Blaster. Ska Boss is attacking at appropriate intervals and they're trading really well. Kanye nearly goes down from another big hit from War Machine. That one's gonna connect. Oh, Skaboss goes down up top and that's gonna be a difficult pickup now for War Machine. He's gotta worry about lasers from both ends and the Vibration Blaster once he gets up there. Sounds like he gave up a shield already. Yeah, if he's able to land a kill without getting hit himself, that would be big. Um, but that's going to be real difficult with the angle he's trying to make it up the stairs. War Machine decides to go back to trying to get a kill onto Invoker. Uh, Kanye is able to land a, an ability there. They erase War Machine. Actually, he jumped off. Oh, and Kanye goes down. Now War Machine has a good opportunity to make this run now. Uh, he lost the guard already to that Tiger Strength Aura Cannon. I think I would have kept running, honestly. See if he could make the run before his Aura recharged. But Invoker... Has him down his sights, and he's going to be able to fire it, and now he is out in the open, and that's going to be game four. Going to Kanye and Invoker, which takes us to game five in what has turned into a very exciting series. That'll go down on Panorama. What a place to have your game five happen, honestly. Skip ahead until we get that going. Perhaps there was connection issues and trying to straighten some things out. Missing a lot of time here. 
Let's see, I think this one might do it. There we go. So we see three shields and an Agonies of Death. And a lot of shields for everybody. Three shields on War Machine, three shields on Invoker of Legend. Everybody is ready to be taking some damage here. Three shields and not a single one erases Blazing Bullet. I can't help but feel a little strange at that seeing Faith in that arsenal. Guard quickly overwritten. Looks like Skaboss, I'm not sure exactly how this arsenal is supposed to work, but he doesn't seem to be getting what he wants, and War Machine is currently getting pummeled himself. Overrides the Agony, picks up an Iron Skin. That's, with the defense he overwrote and the dash, that's five defenses that he's drawn in the first 15 capsules. A War Machine is continuing to take some punishment over there. Swift Punch, Swift Blow the call here. Overrides the dash. War Machine still suffering. And now, despite having drawn five defenses, Ska Boss is now defenseless. Man, talk about a day here. I think he needs to go upstairs and go the long way. If he'd gone faster, Kanye wouldn't have an angle on him. But as it is, if he follows him up, he'll be able to hit him as he goes across. Looks like Kanye's going to let him retreat for free. And that is shield number six. This one is a guardian angel. Armoros is going to hit War Machine. And bad goes to worse for Skaboss and War Machine. They got a long road ahead if they want to make their comeback. I got a vicious, but that vicious balance, bad. but that's not going to do much now. Uh, does he have a way to get his aura back down? I mean, he's already at 11 capsules himself. He's... Okay, now I'm in the game. He's so much... He's got that Hell's Fire, which is... Admittedly a skill. I'll give it that much. It's not my favorite, but it, it exists It even does damage sometimes I know I had a rant about uh, Miramasa the other day, and I feel the same way about Hell's Fire For every one you miss you only break even because it deals two damage to yourself. There's a rebirth Let's see, now he needs to get that aura particle and he needs to draw another one in order to hit the vicious and for it to matter. Negative two for War Machine. It's going to be a little difficult. Kanye's lost an attack. War Machine is holding up admirably considering what they're up against. And there it goes, the vicious balance. Uh, perhaps finding it this late in the match is fortuitous. Gets Kanye an invoker and hits them hard. Not sure why I used that aura particle without using his abilities or waiting to vicious again. But that is possibly crippling for Kanye and Invoker, as I can hear War Machine following them around with a flame sword. Another vicious. Uh, that only brings Kanye down one aura, but it brought him back where he needed to be, which I think is also important. He's going to be able to follow around with that swift punch now. And the swift blow. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with War Machine this game. He managed to survive that onslaught and then make, you know, get picked up afterwards and get back in the game. Kanye actually catches the swift punch meant for Invoker. I have to see if they can make a comeback. There goes a nice swift blow. Starting to even up the health totals. Kanye's still at plus two. Invoker's still got that tiger strength and his hyper kick. Kanye is actually going to take that with a guard of water. No more swift punch. I have to see what does Ska Boss have left in this arsenal. It's definitely come out weird. 
Demon's Fire. Demon. Guardian Angel. Not really going to be worried about any of that because that Guardian Angel will fire every time. He's just got to not get hit too many times. Makes the pickup on a war machine. I don't know if I've ever actually been happy to see... <laughs> Happy to see a guardian angel, but so far it's it's working. Ska boss making a new meta here. Demons fire gonna connect. He's got to be careful if they both hit him. He'll go down. Oh goodness, that was almost it right there. Needs to die right next to his partner. Ice Sword doesn't connect. War Machine desperate to finish the match here. I'm down under back there. I don't know if you saw me. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to freeze him. Using the pillar there to block for him. And once again, very good moves by Ska Boss here. And Kanye is going to go down to the Demon's Fire. Invoker going to have to make the pickup. He's been paralyzed, and he has to stand still for the Demon's yeah. Fire. And that will be game five in an absolutely bizarre fashion going over to Ska Boss and War Machine, taking down the undefeated 4-0, previously Kanye and Invoker. And they will be taking themselves into the next round with a win and I am absolutely impressed by the new team of Ska Boss and War Machine and their ability to adapt throughout this tournament. Thankfully, we're going to see more of both of these teams in the following round. And boy, am I excited for more Ska Boss and War Machine.